killed kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen, everybody's going to be interested in this. At, at the time we started on this, we were kind of looking around for our next big project. And a new editor came into the Globe, and he asked us to look at the case of one priest who had been in the news. And everybody had written about this priest and was wondering, what did the church know? And what we needed and what we had, our team, we had uh, three great reporters, uh, Mike Resendez, Sasha Pfeiffer, and Matt Carroll. And you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Most of these cases were sealed. The church had requested a confidentiality order, and the, the uh, courts abided by that. For years and decades, the church, there was a huge amount of deference to the Catholic Church in Boston, as in around much of the world. And the court basically argued that its privacy rights prevailed over the public's right to know. And uh, our argument was that um, the, uh, the plight of children uh, and the effect on the public was more important than protecting the reputations of Cardinal Bernard Law and the other officials of the Catholic Church. Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. That we had uh, these individual books, which is portrayed actually in the movie, and you knew where everybody was each year. So we had a, you know, a stack of books like this covering 20 years. And uh, the problem was sort of figuring out, okay, um, Father Gagan, we know in, uh, in 1990 was here, but fumbling through the book for 1991 was very difficult. So what we did was we just searched for all these priests year by year. We went through it, like they showed with little rulers going down, and we tracked all these priests who had been put, placed on sick leave uh, or whatever the other designations were. And um, we sort of developed this list of names as we went along, and then once we would call them out to each other, and I think I was inputting, or we were taking turns inputting, into the Excel spreadsheet, and once that was all done, then we just did a very, very simple sort by name and by year. So you can see Father Gagan for every year for the last 20 years, where he had been, and you can see that he had been transferred every two or three years rather than the standard six, seven, eight years. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I'm not crazy. They control everything. This is not just Boston. It's a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. Anytime you pick up a rock and look under it that nobody else has bothered to look at, the chances of finding a really good investigative story is pretty high. And, and the other thing that I'd say, and we all feel this, and you know, um, we love journalism, we love the news, we love getting stories, but to, to find stories that can make a difference in people's lives and help people who have no voice, what, what can you do with your life that's more fulfilling and rewarding than that?